Hi guys! Welcome to another episode of State of Survival with me, Teddy. And for this video, I am going to show you the gameplay of the Blue Mining Nelly. And just a disclaimer that I am sorry that this is not a proper video from the event itself because the video that I have recorded got corrupted. So I just made a way and how am I going to present this to you. And I hope at least this one is going to give you an idea on how the blue mining uh, melee event is going to do. So for some part of this video will show you on how it looks like inside the event. And at the same time, I just made some visual arts for this one. So when just a reminder for you as well that this is in PDR and whatever you are seeing here is subject to change when it is going to be added to the live server. So how are you going to play this event? This event is pretty similar to the Reservoir League or Reservoir Raid guys, but instead of playing with Alliance versus Alliance, you are going to play player versus player. And for this much, we are 19 here in total. Just a reminder as well that you are going to be matched with the players with the same generation of heroes as you are. So for example, regardless of what is your stats or what is your growth in your game, as long as you're near your generation six heroes, then you are going to be matched with players with generation six heroes and so on and so forth. Second one, the most important one here, guys, is always activate your boost because they are active and the most important one above all is your match capacity why it is needed to boost your match capacity it's because the march you are going to use is dependent on the number or the troops that you can use is dependent on your default march so of course the higher the amount the more troops you will have the more chances of you going to win or defend your gathering Next, once the event started, well, uh, what you are seeing here earlier is the level 1 gas field. So the level 1, level 2, and level 3 gas field will have infected. And you need to attack the infected. Of course, this one at the end of this video, you will see which part of this level is dependent or is advisable for you to play dependent on your stat as well as your build. So Next is the one thing that you need to remember is the march or the march is a default. So it means like a 3-3-3. Three, three, three. It is divided into your three different troop types. You can't adjust it. It is just your default march with balance of hunter, infantry, and then rider. The troops that are being used here are your highest level of troops. And since it is a default march, it means that this is divided so they are all equal your infantry your hunter and then your riders next is when you attack that field any field from level one to three and you kill the infected it will drop some gas that you can collect you can only send one march at a time so even if there are like a lot of gas that have dropped in there you need to wait for your that first march to return and for you to send it again so level 1 to level 3 gas field opens when the event starts and you can actually choose wherever you want. It is dependent on your stats. Of course, the higher the level of the gas for sure, the stronger the opponents there as well as the stronger the infected that you need to kill. So for every infected you, that you kill for that field, it drops gas as well. But then you cannot collect them with all your marches. You need to collect them one at a time. When it comes to the eruptive building, this building is very special because it only drops two waves. The first wave will drop 20 minutes after the event started and then the second wave will be 40 minutes after the event started. And unlike level 1 and level 3 gas field, this building doesn't have any infected so you can just collect and it's really really quick guys. The first part of the event is quite boring. It's because level 1, level and 3, all we did was just collect. Some of us tried to attack each other as well but since we don't have a lot of troops and at the same time our accounts were not reset. In PDR so we just collected and then wait for the drops of the eruptive and that's it but when this research building or the research lab opened that is where the fun started 
all players can attack the middle building and then the, the longer you occupy that the more gas you can collect as well so make sure that you send your best march and last reminder guys you are allowed to kill or attack your co-alliances or players from your own alliance but you can attack settlements you can only attack all the gatherings and all of those coming back or you can steal those people who are picking up the gas so that's it for today and i hope that this video is going to help you guys see you in my next video bye